In this video, I'm going to go over the difference between the population mean and the sample mean. The population mean, or mu, is called the parameter. It's, it's an identity of what you're looking at. You can look at it as the gold standard. Uh, that's what you're comparing all the statistics you're coming up with when you're approximating. And so x bar, or the sample mean, is a statistic. It's an approximation in that you're looking to get what the parameter is with limited data. And so that's the difference between the two. You're, you're looking at the mu as a parameter. It's what the population is. X bar tries to get you what the population is with the limited information it has. And the reason for that is very rarely do you have the capability of doing a census where you could look at everything. Usually it takes up too much time, too much resources. So we use samples, and with those samples, we come up with statistics that then approximate what the parameter is. For visualization, I'm going to be using a fairly simple population. It's only going to be a population of 10 people of differing heights. And so here's the numbers of the heights. So how do you go about calculating that? The calculation for mu is the summation of each x divided by capital N. So capital N in this case is 10. And then for the summation, we have 60 plus 71 plus 76 plus 56 plus 52 plus 65 plus 49 plus 53 plus 67 plus 64, which gets you 613 over 10, which equals 61.3. So now we know the parameter mu is 61.3 inches. When it comes to looking at samples, I thought it'd be nice to look at two different types of samples just to show you a, a, a kind of trend that tends to happen as you increase the sample size. So the first one is using a sample of three. The second one is using a sample of six. When you calculate X bar, you calculate the summation of each X, just like before with mu, except you're dividing by small n. So you're not dividing by the population, you're dividing by the sample size. And so we have 71 plus 56 plus 64 over 3, which gives you 191 over 3, which gives you 63.67. And this is rounded. And so it's close to what the, the mu is, but I'm sure if we increase the sample size, it'll get closer. And so that's exactly what we'll do, is we'll increase the sample size. So we have x bar equals the summation of xi over n, and n in this case is 6. From that 6, 76 plus 65 plus 53 plus 56 plus 60 plus 52 to give you 362 over 6 or 60.33 uh, rounded. So in this case, even though it's below what the parameter is, it's closer to the approximation of it. And that's typically what happens when you increase the sample size. The basic takeaway of this is as you increase the sample size, x bar, the statistic gets closer to mu, the parameter in approximation. You'd very rarely ever have a population of 10 and then want a sample of it, because in most cases you would just take the 10. In most cases you'll have something where you have a thousand people in a city, so you take a sample of a hundred people and then you approximate the parameter mu with the x bar of the 100 people. So that's where you get the statistic from, and as you increase it, if you go from 100 to 400, your statistic is going to be more approximate to what the parameter is. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section, whether for this or for other uh, statistics questions. I'll either make a video from that or answer it directly. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy, my friends.